grasslands. The temperate grassland area, where precipitation is too sparse to support tree growth, but does not fall below 10 inches or 25 centimeters per year, is called the grassland biome. This area is also known as prairie in North America, steppe in Russia and Asia, pampas in South America, and veldt in South Africa. It is believed that grasslands may have covered nearly half of the world at one time. Due to the slow decomposition rate of the grasses over thousands of years, grassland biomes are considered to have the most fertile and deepest topsoil in the world. Today, most of the grasslands are used for agriculture and produce much of the world's domesticated grasses, such as wheat. This is why these grasslands are referred to as the breadbaskets of the world. The original grasslands of North America were once grazed by large herds of bison. Today, the parts of the prairies of the central United States are grazed by cattle, horses, and sheep. Living on the underdeveloped grasslands are animals such as the pronghorn antelope, coyotes, ground squirrels, and rattlesnakes. There are also a few of the warm regions of the world where the grassland biome receives 40 to 60 inches or 100 to 150 centimeters of rain. This life zone is often referred to as the savanna biome. The scattered trees of the African savanna are acacias, baobab trees, euphorbias, and palms. The giraffe, with its long neck, has evolved to feed on these tall trees and thereby does not compete with the grazing animals such as the antelope, wildebeests, and zebras. The predators, such as lions, cheetahs, and hyenas, help maintain the balance of life during the short, wet, and long, dry seasons of the savanna, the grassland biome.